This is Dr. Scott McLean and this is a YouTube video about implant dentistry. I recently presented uh, a lecture about dental implants in Anchorage, Alaska. And during our discussion we talked about the physics forceps and I realized that there's a lot of interest in this particular dental instrument and it's one of my favorite instruments in my practice. So we're going to have a look at two different cases and kind of show you how you can use this instrument to really be effective. During case number one, we're going to be extracting a premolar tooth on a 59-year-old female who's had a recent history of cancer, who's also a smoker. I decided to extract the tooth and then let it heal for two months prior to placing the implant. So we're going to take a look at the x-ray here. And what you'll notice is the root is actually very close to the adjacent root, which makes it not an ideal kind of immediate placement. But notice the noble active here. It's uh, been here for about almost nine years now. You can see it's actually looking really great. The bone is uh, staying up around the platform. And uh, this is really terrific and good to see. When we're using the physics forcep, we want to engage the lingual aspect of the root. We do not want to go near the buccal aspect at all during extraction. We want to maintain this and keep this perfect for later implant placement. So it's usually very easy to do this with the physics forcep and it's designed to really grab in that area. The physics forcep is a uh, top tool in my practice and I find it a very effective way to get out teeth atraumatically. It is made by a company called Golden Dental Solutions and you can see that here. And if we look inside one of the nice things is is it is made in the USA and so uh, born in the USA. So the physics forcep uh, we can see here it's an upper right that we're going to be using today and so this is going to engage on the lingual. So I've already checked to make sure I can get it on the lingual. You can see that there's a little red spot there but we're using an upper right physics forcep. So when I engage this on the lingual we're going to make sure we can get a purchase and the pad's going to be up against the buccal aspect. So the goal of this is we start the clock is just to elevate a slight little bit. So I'll rotate on the axis and elevate just to kind of tear the PDL a little bit. Just like that, not very much. We want to protect the buckle plate. So after 20 seconds, we're at the point where we go to get the standard forcep. And then this is simple. So 25 seconds. And now at 30 seconds, the tooth is out. And this is very typical for the physics forcep. So you can see that the patient's not really been traumatized by this procedure and furthermore the buccal plate has been left intact which is really important when we're placing implants. So do not over rotate, make sure you're just kind of getting the PDL elevated and that's what's going to be successful with this particular tool. On case number two we're going to extract a lower fractured molar. It's been observed by the um, endodontis and there's a number of problems as you can see listed here. So we decided that we're going to extract this tooth but having an endo and having all this bone is usually kind of a concern especially when the crown comes off you can see here. So we're going to try the physics forcep and this is a lower universal forcep which will be quite effective to get this tooth out. Now our goal will be to get this tooth out and then make it so that it's going to be a good site for a dental implant in a few months so we do have to be careful of the buccal plate and being a very very firm rooted tooth we're going to just take it and just kind of rotate the tooth so it's kind of elevating it and not really extracting the tooth so we elevate and just kind of pop the PDL and what you'll notice is when I show you this is you can actually see that the tooth is popped sideways a little tiny bit so not destroying the buccal plate which is uh, important I'm going to come back with the standard forcep to take this out. Then we kind of just rotate it back and forth a little bit. And uh, this tooth, which has got a real big curve on it, and also lots of bone around it, comes right out. So you can see right there. So a very quick and effective tool to extract the tooth and to leave it ready for the dental implant. So I'll put a few sutures in, and then the patient's going to be ready in a few months. And uh, I do like to have some gauze in this area to make sure that uh, 
you can get that good blood clot in the area. So this is Dr. Scott McLean, and this has been a YouTube video about implant dentistry. Please choose to subscribe to the channel and you'll get free updates as soon as I can get them posted.